So one strategy we're going to get into, because this is huge, and this is attracting a lot of people. Now, I am putting my name to this as a high-integrity journalist, as an information specialist, and someone who's also been on the inside of this voting portal of the website ab51vote.com. Um, we are now attracting and gaining a lot of influence by voting with one voice, okay? So who and what does this mean, voting with one with one voice? Greg, can you break that down for us? Um, I'll tell you what. I'm finding out it's kind of a new concept when it comes to at least elections, voting, polling, et cetera. It's kind of a new concept, and I'm, it's really evolved during the referendum uh, process. Uh, there are a number of organizations out there, um, and I'll speak for tribal organizations, uh, religious-based organizations like churches, uh, local nonprofits, where they have a large number of people in them, and basically the folks want to vote with one voice. In other words, almost like a little republic unto itself. In other words, if you have a church group, for example, I'll tell you what, I've, I've, I've mentioned this on the air a lot, Val, is I am amazed at the proactive pastors that are out there, not only in Canada, but in the United States. And there are a number of pastors I've talked to, and they've got maybe a congregation of, let's say, a couple hundred people, or maybe a hundred, or maybe 500, whatever. And uh, they have said that their folks uh, really are all pro-Alberta 51 folks. They're, they, they, it's pretty much across the board. And, and I know for a fact that in the tribal world, uh, they, vote at, uh, they tend to vote as one voice, meaning they all agree. So let's elect a leader and uh, get our, voice, get our uh, votes counted and voices heard. What that, what that means in this case is if there are pastors out there or if there are group leaders that indeed uh, feel there's consensus within their organization, um, I would like to talk to them directly because we'll just count them. We'll count their votes and their voice as a group because we'll have a nice, accurate number. There are going to be rules that apply. Uh, meaning every every single voter, of course, within that congregation or that group, they need to be 18 years or old uh, or older, eligible to vote in a in a regular Alberta referendum. Uh, if requested, they need to prevent to present valid ID uh, to prove their eligibility, uh, an email address and contact info. But indeed, as a group. So uh, there have been there have been a number that I've talked to, and I really want to reach out right now to any, especially pastors, especially pastors up in Alberta. If indeed you have you have a con the congregation is kind of in sync as far as they're thinking, and they they are pro Alberta fifty one folks. If anything, for religious freedom, hello, hello. Remember the the lockdowns and the COVID uh, 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 episode up in Canada, but. For the religious freedoms, for the constitutional freedoms, et cetera, if, if their congregation wants to vote, let's say there's 200 votes, 200 votes, the uh, pastor can contact me directly and uh, we'll log those as 200 votes or, or whatever the exact number is. And uh, it gives people an opportunity because I'll tell you what, Val, I, I was, I've learned so much uh, in this past six months or so. Uh, there are a lot of disenfranchised people out there, and, and, and especially from Alberta that I hear. There are a lot of folks that, that either have, are not able to vote in elections. Uh, there's a lot of areas of Canada that is, has real touch-and-go internet connection. Uh, there, there, there's just a lot of disenfranchised voters in that, indeed, when they vote, they think maybe their vote's not counted or not having really any effect on the election. So... These are the folks that we want to approach and, uh, again, have pastors or group leaders speak for their con congregation or their group. Uh, it's, uh, I think, a really uh, unique, uh, maybe unparalleled opportunity for uh, to really gather the pulse and the feel of the entire province, uh, not only with individual votes, but goodness, with group.